Hello gaming fans, here we are back in Boulder's Gate. So this should be the third Cloakwood area. Yep, sure is. So let's go see what this has How to offer. <clears throat> Pretty sure this is the one where uh, Coran here has his waverns that we have to kill. What is it this time? If I remember correctly, they're not quite I as bad as the uh, <clears throat> that spider one was, but we'll see. Who are you, buddy? Eldoth? Gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> May I introduce myself? I am Eldoth Kron. Sorry if I seem out of breath, but I had to retreat from a battle. I was ambushed by a dozen gnolls further back on the trail. I handily dispatched them, but thought better of fighting their half dozen ogre friends. I think I've evaded from now. Would any of you care for a drink of some soggy ton brandy? <laughs> sure, give us some booze. Hope you're enjoying the liquor. It is some of the best you can find. All of you are probably wondering why I'm being so generous. Obviously not from the kindness of his heart, you think. Well, in a way, I am. You look like the type to be on the outlook for ways to improve your qu the quality of life. Well, I have a proposal that could help you in this endeavor. You see, there's a girl. My lover, in fact, who desires to escape her father and lives on her own. Her father is Entar Silvershield, one of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. Oh man, Silvershield, that one guy said we're not supposed to mess with him. This, of course, makes her desires more difficult than that of the average city girl. However, with your assistance, we could help her escape from the tyrannical clutches of Entar. Here's the punchline. Since Entar is going to be hunting us anyway, we can blackmail him for hordes of cash and not worry about our captive escaping. After all, we're doing it... For the sake of Sky. Now we don't need to go about this right away. In fact, I hope you do with whatever you're doing until you decide to head up to Baldur's Gate. Just think about it as if it, one favor deserving another. Ah, we don't want you. I think yes. he's, I think I he's a thief or something himself. like that. Let's make a save before we get too far in here. There we go. Yeah, that's like most of the characters you run into here later on. A bunch of them are thieves. It's like if you don't have a thief by this point in the game, <laughs> I mean, you got M1 right away, so why would you need any more? I'm not saying necessarily she's the best one, but she's pretty good. Yep. What does she got? Yeah, she got Dexter to 18, Constitution 16. How may I be of assistance? You have but She's funny decent. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of places we can go around in here, huh? Camaraderie, adventure. Ah, oh, there we go. We got our bridge. The stuff of legend, right, Boo? That's right. Tell him. Stuff of Legends. The legendary game, Baldur's Gate. I do love this game, though. This is a great one. If you're a younger person and you want to check out some classic video games, this is a really good one to start with. I said it holds up pretty good in the eye of uh, new games. Alright, looks like we discovered everything here. Hey, Mr. Bear. Keep it civil there. It would be good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. You there! I command you to stop, so that I might parley with you for a moment. Who are you? What is it you want with us? My name is Laskow, and I am the direct protector of the Cloakwood. I would ask you a question before I take my leave of you. I have a message for those that serve the Iron Throne. Would you be the representant? Would you be representative of that organization? We have no connection to that evil group. We are sworn enemies of the Iron Throne. Mmm, an enemy of an enemy of an enemy is a friend. My earlier question was just a test. I'm glad to know that you oppose this organization. They have been a blight on these woods ever since. They reopened the ancient dwarven iron mine. Well, I'm glad to know you. Take this. Hopefully it will aid you against the Iron Throne. The Iron Throne Fort is located to the east. 
Mm, sounds good. Thank you, buddy. Potion of invulnerability. Wow, that sounds good. We will give that to Mix. You were no. What is it this time? <clears throat> I gotta it's sell all them potions here one of these days because I got too many of them. I'm one of them classic people that always holds on to potions forever and never freaking uses them. So he's like, There's a, there could be a stronger enemy. <laughs> I never know if I want to use it now. The, the last couple boss fights, you really want to have everything you can, all the power you can muster. Now one guy gave us that magic scroll that we're going to hold on to that last fight. I think it's protection against magic or something like that. Very powerful scroll. Quick save, there we go. Uh, what have we got going on here? Civilization seems far, city dweller. Take not another step! I would know your purpose in this wood. Tell me true, lest you feed the trees from below. I hunt those that defile these woods. Bar bandits are my quarry. Hmm, a noble goal. And one that my fellow shallow druids will no doubt support. You should have an escort, however, just to make sure you do more good than harm. I recommend you... Sp Speak with Faldorn. She is, she will gladly share your fever in exterminating those that poison the, these woods to these. Go now and seek her aid. Ooh, I don't know why I was stumbling over my wood so much there. Probably because it's so damn hot out. <laughs> Making quick save there. I didn't mean to do that, but hey, why not? Hmm, I don't know who this is. Is this an NPC? I don't remember. I am Baldor. Oh, yeah, it is. I have been looking for those who would fight for the sanctity of this forest. Mm, sure, we'll help you. Um, we'll just get rid of M1 for now. Take a look at this girl. I care not. Yes, I know M1. Don't worry, the you probably won't be gone for long. What is she, a druid? I do have Koran to uh, do thief stuff for us. All, cause she, all she, she can use is a club and a dart. What kind of spells are you bring to the table here? I don't think we really want you. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna, yes? we're gonna keep that going. You're a queer fellow. I am one with nature. I'm glad you like nature. Assistance. You have but to ask. Head up to the north here and see what we can find. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, it's a treehouse, it says. Hmm. Just make another quick save. Go in here and check this place out. I shall attend to it in a trust. Well, there's somebody here that'll sell us some stuff. It would be good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. Who dares presume to trespass upon the nature territory while they Shadow Archdruid looks on. Who could be so hungry for death? More of Senor's weaklings, pawns, no doubt. How can he be one of the three with his pacifist attitudes? It's beyond logic. My apologies, we are hunting those that would destroy nature. Is there a bandit installation near here? You seek to destroy those which have, which those heathens have built? Perhaps you warrant te temporary passage then. Though you shall, shall still be under my scrutiny, you will find a human fort if you continue north and then go east. It is inhabited by defilers who call themselves the Iron Throne. It will be best if one of your own accompanies, if one of our own accompanies you to be sure your intent is true. 
Seek the one named Faldorn. She will join your cause. Her rage at those who defile the lands can barely be contained and will no doubt benefit your cause. Go now. Do not tarry in places you do not belong. Okay, buddy. Uh, you have but to ask. You gotta let us go down. I shall attend to it in a trice. They're really trying to get me to take that girl with us. I shall attend us. to it in a trice. Don't think, don't think we need her, but you never know. What is it she probably has some kind of like information that could make it easier on us or something. Screw that. We'll just go in there, like Mink says, swords, swords and steel. Kill them all. I'm really looking for though is this. Wavern's nest should be in here somewhere. Go for the ice, boo! Go for the ice! Yes? Come on, take them. Oh, vampire. Vampire wolf. Jeez. Let's give them a right. Give us victory! How may I be able to Hello? Cast old healing spell and makes there just in case. Looks like we're gonna win though. There you go, buddy. It shall be as you wish. What the hell's going on over here? Some kind of spells keep dissipating on us. Still got my mage armor, that's all that really counts. Don't mess with nature, or it'll mess with you. You have the audacity of an ogre mage. The way you strut through these woods. Well you'll not get much further than this if you if your purpose here does not counter the damage you might do to nature. Who do you claim to be and why shall I let you pass? I beg of you, let me pass. There are villains in these woods that will do it more harm than I. I must track them down. You dis you display the same fever that drives the other side of druids and me. Perhaps there is merit in letting you continue. You may even prove useful. There is an infidel in the cave to the northeast of here who dares to capture creatures of the woods and bend them to his petty purposes. No doubt you'd like to see him fed to his captives as much as I. Please proceed and dispose of him at your leisure. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So where do you say the northeast? Hmm. Is this it? It's technically the northeast. Well, let's make a save and go on in here. See what kind of nonsense we're gonna run into. Looks like this is where that drill guy just went, though. Oh, this is the guy with the waverns, huh? Peter of the North. Move along, friends. Nothing to see here. Just a hum humble woodsman doing a little spelunking. <laughs> this is an odd place to meet a woodsman. Are you not afraid of those baby waverns behind you? You do not know the sub subtleties of uh, wood and wood related activities these creatures are docile and and is worth the risk uh, even the darkest caves can be a rewarding experience for a woodsman that knows how to handle himself why um some terrarian trees can yield the best material for carving uh, ornamental things <laughs> subterranean trees are you quite sure you know what you're talking about certainly have I given cause for you to doubt me? Of course not. Everything is just as it should be. There is nothing un untoward about me or the, my wavering. I mean, there is nothing untoward about these waverns. Are you implying something? Do your actions not seem odd to you? Um, not at all. It's not uncommon for a woman to seek the comfort of natural caverns and oh, to blazes with it. I can tell by your questions that you suspect me of lying and I am tired of this ruse. No, I am not a simple woodsman. I am training these beasts to serve as guards, and now you have interrupted me. I shall never have them ready for the mine. 
Your presence has agitated them. They will be unmanageable for days now. Perhaps I can placate them with some meat. Your meat. We'll see what you got there, buddy. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! See if we can yes. kill these guys. That yeah, I'll give a magic missile to that guy. I think the way from babies probably ain't too much to worry about. Oh god. Did we get him? Alright. That's right, the way from poison is gonna freaking fuck us up. What is it this time? Hmm. Yes. Oh, the poison didn't last very long. We'll take that. What you want? How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. Yep. All right, you give them magic bolts to her. Hopefully, she can. There we go. Identify them for us. I thought that might be a magical what is it one. This time? I care not. I've done had enough of this. You yes. and you well, get up here, look for traps. Wait a couple seconds here. Seems safe enough. Let's talk more fight. Who's he got plenty of room there? Brawling. Oh, not you. Hello. You stay over there, Mr. Squeaky Wheel. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing in there. How nice. Yes. It shall be as you wish. You have but to ask. All right, let's try to rest. Make a save. I'm pretty sure that's not the Wavering Cave that we needed, though. There's one around here somewhere where there's a big waiver in it. <clears throat> Maybe it is the next place. I don't think so, though. I thought it was in here. Anything back here? Doesn't look good. <laughs> Just regular old wolf. Pretty tame compared to the stuff we've been fighting in here. Let's give them a right. Give us victory! May I be of assistance? All right, what else could there be? <clears throat> Doesn't look like there could be anywhere else in here. I All right, well, that's it for Cloakwood Part 3. Next time you see me, we'll be doing Cloakwood Part 4.